Hey everybody, welcome back to another one of my videos. I'm Kevin D. And I appreciate everybody following along with this uh, series. Well, it's not really a series. I showed the battery a couple days ago. I'm going to be hooking up to my new system. And I'm showing you what Lightime sent me the other day. I did do a collaboration with them. They asked me if I'd showcase one um, their product. In return, I get to keep it pretty good for me. I make a 10 to 15 minute video and do a YouTube short on it and upload it and hope they like it. And either way, I get to keep everything. So there's my dogs again. Never fails. <laughs> if you can hear them, I apologize. They're out there in the yard doing their dog things. So uh, yeah, if you hear them, I'm sorry in advance. Anyways, in front of me, I had the Lightime 60 amp MPPT charge controller. I'm going to open it up for the first time and let you guys take a look at it as I open it up. This is how it was sent to me. So everything you're seeing, I'm seeing for the first time as well. Thank you. Let me make sure you guys can see. Okay, looks like you can. I got a camera up here going also. So let's open this sucker up. very well taped I'll tell you that much a lot of tape on it well like I said a lot of tape whoever the person was at the shipping department did not waste any time with any money on tape okay new features upgrade of the solar charge controller I just got this little black piece I have no idea what it is no clue hopefully something explains that let me set it over there so I don't lose it uh, it says new features and upgrades of the solar charge controller oh it's got the low low temperature charging protection for lithium batteries well, I'll try to upload that so everybody can see it I'll set that over to the side put this little black piece on top of it so I don't lose it here is the product manual, and this is for a 12, 24, 12, 24, 36, or 48 volt system. So it can do all the ones that mainly a lot of people use. We'll get to that later. And installation steps for using the mounting holes. Oh, this is the mounting uh, platform, if you will, the template. That's what I'm trying to say here. Uh, it looks pretty good. It just shows where the cool air can come in and the warm air out, which I needed in this shed because it gets hot in the summertime, really hot in here. Even though I got my air conditioner over there, it still gets warm in here. And it just shows you some mounting instructions and easy to step guide here. I'll show that up on the screen. I'll scan it in somehow or another and put it up so you guys can see it. Here looks like the uh, temperature sensor. I believe you you plug this in. I've watched other YouTube videos on this, and uh, people do a great job of explaining this stuff. Probably better than me, but uh, I'm doing my best here. I believe that you plug this into the unit, and you put it next to the battery so it can uh, detect the temperature. So I'll set that over there. Let's pop this out, if I can get it out. Okay, nothing else in the box. Set the box down. It does come with these foam cushions. I do like that. That protects it while it's in shipping. Okay. Oh, that, that's not as light as I thought it would be. It's a little heavy. I had to guess 10, 15 pounds, maybe 20. No, that's 20. Every bit of 20 pounds. It comes with this plastic wrapped around it once again to protect it better. Oh, here's the mounting hardware. Uh, I will open up that in a second and put it all on the table and do a quick picture, show you guys everything that comes with this unit. So here we go. This is the Lightime 
life and discovery. I hope I'm saying this right. Lie time. I always call it lie time. I've heard it lee time, lie time. I don't know. I'm sticking with the lie time. It's hard to break an old dog of the same habits. It is what it is. So it's a 60 amp MPPT solar charge controller. I actually know what MPPT means, just not off the top of my head. I got it written down someplace. Uh, it just shows their website, the service at light time. It shows the solar, the battery, and it has a little light right there. You can actually have stuff come out um, hooked up into here. So if I turn it over, here's the heat sink on the back. This allows the unit to get cooler, to stay cool. And once again, I need that in my shop. Here's the mounting brackets over here. It uh, comes with a little barcode. And, oh, here we go. Let's get up here, get you guys up here so you can see it. So you can see the bottom for the loads, the batteries, the PVN. There's the temperature thing again. And this little sticker right here just shows the... Uh, 12 24 36 48 volts the max current 60 amps the max input voltage is 150 volts so that's the maximum amount of voltage coming in from your solar panels it'd be 150 volts max input of power is 900 watts over 12 volts 1800 watts over 24 volts 2600 watts over 36 volts and 3200 watts for 48 volts so the bigger system you have the more watts can come in as you can tell for the 3200 watts for the 48 volt system that's pretty cool i have to stay under 900 watts because i'm sticking with the 12 volt system i haven't managed to migrate up yet but anyways that's unboxing it i will do a picture show it to you guys on the screen of everything that comes with it and i'll bring you back once i have it installed Hey guys, so what you're seeing behind me is my finished product. I finally got it done. Man, I started on this about 8.30, 9 o'clock this morning after I got back from the gym. And I'm happy to say I finally got it done. It's not 100% done because I still got some little bit of wiring touch-ups to do. I still got to run the power cord to it. But I do have a power cord hooked up to it, but it's for my stereo. And if I turn the stereo on and they play music, then YouTube will say, can't do that. But I do have five watts going in to feed whatever the stereo is using without being on. I don't know. Just the way electricity works. It's probably to feed all the little red button, red, yeah. Anyways, you know what I'm talking about, I hope. Anyways, so here is where this wire is running to. It's running all the way across the top. I kind of just pulled on it and got it down to here. I got to redo it, like I said. It's only pulling flat five watts. But let's get to the meat, the meat and the potatoes, the potatoes and the meat. Something like that, however it works. Right here, I have 10 gauge wire coming in. This is from my Harbor Freight solar panels, 400 watts of the power wires feeding my charge controller. This wire right here is for the low temperature gauge. We will get to that in a minute. So this is 10 gauge wiring coming from this disconnect all the way through here up into the um, charge controller. This red wire coming down to this disconnect, this is a 70 amp disconnect, is feeding my bus bar. My bus bar is feeding this disconnect, which will disconnect the battery. It's also feeding my pure sine wave inverter right here, which I got to get this cap on there so I don't accidentally shock myself. Well, I'll get to it in a second. Okay, and this little red wire is feeding my shunt. I haven't configured the battery monitor. It's saying 100%. I got to redo all that. But in order to do that, you got to drain the battery down. It takes time to do that. I didn't want to mess with it right now. So anyways, the battery disconnect has a positive cable going all the way down to the battery. That's where the, that's where the juice is stored at inside this thing right here. I guess this is my potatoes as my meat. My, with my meat and potatoes? My potatoes and my meat? I don't know. Anyways. So I can shut this off and no juice will be coming to my system. I went this way, guys, to be safe because I am no electrician and I wanted to make sure that this charge controller was going to be running for years to come because I am at my limit for all my know-how and ability, if that makes sense, on how to do this stuff. 
I have to watch YouTube, research, 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 and look at Will Prowse's book and call my brother up who's a maintenance technician. And man, it takes a lot for me to figure all this stuff out. But if I can do it, you guys can do it. So anyways, getting to the negative side. Here's the negative cable coming into this bus bar. This little red and black wire is feeding to the battery disconnect. That, that's what the negative goes to to give this power. This power cable feeds to the PAPA, the P minus of the shunt. Oh, the B minus goes down here to the battery. This cable, once again, feeds to the battery monitor. And the other bus on the bus bar here goes into the battery monitor. I mean, the pure sine wave inverter. This is all tucked away in my corner. It's kind of out of my way. If you can see over here, it's hard for me to get into there. I really don't go over there that much. The dog does sometimes, but she's got to le learn not to go over there. I'm thinking about putting her baby, her, her baby bed down there. But anyways, let's get into the app portion of it. It only took me, I don't know, maybe two minutes to hook the app up. So I got to turn the screen recording on, start recording, put this up here. So you guys can see me, Mr. Beautiful. <laughs> okay, I'm recording now. Hopefully it's popping up, up on the screen here. It says the battery's at 13.6 volts. The PV voltage is 72.6 volts coming in. The status is MPPT, which is good. The battery bank, there's the current voltage and the power, the wattage. Wow, I just jumped up to 296 watts being charged. Sun must come out. Oh, the sun is coming out. It's been raining all day here in Tennessee. Moving along, I don't have any DC load hooked up. I will hook up a little light to that. Um, I don't know how much it'll drain my battery overnight because there's settings on here inside the app that you can, as soon as it doesn't, um, as soon as the app detects no power coming in from the sun, it'll turn that little light on, but that'll be draining my battery and I'm never out here at night. So I don't know if I'll use that or not. That's further in the app settings. I learned that from another YouTuber. Underneath the controller, the controller says normal, low temperature protection, I have it on. And it's at 69.8 degrees Fahrenheit, or you Celsius people, it's at 21 degrees Celsius. And then you can see today's data. Yeah, it took me maybe a minute or two just to connect the Bluetooth. It's harder for me to connect the Bluetooth on my, on my uh, headphones than it was to connect to this app. So once again, guys, this 60 amp MPPT solar charge controller, I'm impressed. It's working like it's supposed to. Uh, two thumbs up to lee time, not lie time, lee time. I learned that earlier today by watching the Bass. Uh, lee time had a big booth out there in Vegas area, wherever it was at. And uh, the gentleman running it kept saying lee time, not lie time. I, I, I always say lie time. But guys, I figured this out. I didn't even have to call my brother today, the maintenance guy. I'm very, very excited and happy that I'm able to do all this. And I'm hoping that it's the last time. I might add another battery. Here's the lifetime battery that I'm using for anybody that didn't watch my last video. This is a 12.8 volt, 280 amp hour, 3,584 watt hours. That's a lot of storage inside this thing. It's Bluetooth also. It is Bluetooth. Maybe we can get to that portion of it too. And I can show you guys uh, the battery. Let me scroll through my phone here. Let me turn the recorder back on. Forgive me, guys. I know I'm wasting your time. I'll put you back up here so you can see Mr. Beautiful. Okay, so the screen is recording, and I'll have it up here on the screen. So it's saying it's at 47% state of charge. What else can I do on this app? I clicked on it. Okay, it's at 48% charging. Uh, it says 311 watts of power, 22.7 amps of current, feeding it, 13.4 volts, 134.4 amp hour capacity. Right now, that's cool. And the temperature is reading at 60.8 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about what it was on the other temperature one. It was like 61 degrees. Uh, the firmware version, yeah, let me, can I do anything else? Nope, that's about it. So it's estimated 6.4 hours to fully charge. Right here, 
6.4 hours to fully charge and that's at the current wattage coming in and yeah let me shut that off get out of this app hey guys once again thank you so much for joining me thank you for following along thank you for your patience as i hook up bluetooth and everything else and just thank you lead time for sending me these these products i think it looks awesome i think when you have everything from one company all the color schemes i've really enjoyed the color schemes that um, lead time has the orange and black i like that some people might not i do i i like it I like the fact that I was able to actually do research on my own, figure out that I needed the 70 amp um, disconnect there, the six and the four gauge wire. The four gauge wire goes into into the inverter here. The six gauge wire is hooked into the um, the battery. And once again, I learned all that from uh, the Will Prowse book. The solar coming in. This has all been a huge learning curve to me. And I do know also here's something some people don't know. Inside here. Is fuses so if you're ever having problems with these things you might have to bust open the case so I wouldn't say bust open the case open up the case and check your fuses there's some fuses right into here I saw that in another guy's YouTube channel and I was kind of shocked about that because maybe that's what went wrong with my other one when uh, I was messing around with it too much maybe I blew a fuse it's hard to say but guys I'll stop wasting your time once again I appreciate everything you guys do may God bless each and every one of you guys take care and have a wonderful day